Good evening. Welcome to ORP TV News Live. And I went for one last sip and just spilled it down myself. What a mess. Papa done made a mess on himself. Well, this is the Wednesday show coming to you live from JK Auto Repair Studio. JK Auto Repair is a full service car care provider located in Ozark, Missouri. And man, they just don't get any better than John King and Zach Jones at JK's Auto Repair. You can give them a call at 417-581-2004. This is the All Parts Auto Salvage Midweek Show. All Parts Auto Salvage at 2600 North Benton in Springfield, Missouri. Don McGuire, my brother, how are you, my friend? All Parts Auto Salvage, they have parts that you need for any vehicle, whether it's your daily car, your racer, your project, whatever it is. All Parts Auto Sal Salvage either has it or they can get it through their nationwide list of contacts. Give them a call. Let Auto pa All Parts Auto Salvage help you fix your car. Jesse James Junction in Omaha, Arkansas. Not just an RV park, not just a place to park your RV and hook it up, but a darn nice place to camp and to hang out. A beautiful location. Kristen out and do a fantastic job there at Jesse James Junction, Omaha, Arkansas. 4T Cart Racing Oil, my buddy Wesley Men's House. I mean, he is blowing the doors off the place with all that he's doing. The Briggs & Stratton 4T Cart Racing Oil from Amsoil. They've got Renegade Race Fuel. They've got Phoenix Performance Plumbing Parts. And I tell you what, those are hard to keep in stock. They've got such a high demand for those. He's doing a fantastic job over there. And if you'd like to sell any of these products at your track or your store or like to become a uh, independent dealer also, you can get a hold of Wesley Men's House 740-646-6073 and Howler Head Banana Infused Bourbon Whiskey. My buddy Don McGuire knows all about Dana White and uh, his product here. We are happy to be uh, official brand ambassadors and the AAA race show on YouTube. A new episode just dropped last night with Austin Aziz there hosting that show. He is the best studio host of racing, period. I put him up against anybody. I put him up against Dave Despain. I put him up against Larry Mack. Anybody. Austin Aziz does a fantastic job. Give him a like over at AAA Race Show or Austin Aziz Racing on Facebook. Our sponsors, of course, JK's All Parts, Jesse James, Wesley Men's House, Down to Earth Lawn and Landscaping, Twister Alley Raceway, Hillbilly Speedway and Fair Grove, Hodges Tree Trimming, Titans at 10.5 Series. Got another race coming up in a couple weeks at Bon Terre. Team Aziz, AAA Race Show, Sigs and Swigs, Madam Ministry, MKRA Midwest Kart Racing, Home Sweet Home Realty, and the Missouri Motocross Hall of Fame. Let's get into this. Wholesale Batteries, Inc., the Midwest Wingless Racing Association. This is USAC Racing. Unbelievable, exciting racing. Well, they were in Lakeside Speedway in Park, or Kansas City, Kansas last night. In that, the ASCS Sprint winner, Blake Hahn, USRA B Mod, unbelievable. The guy doesn't just win. He wins every Friday and Saturday night. He picks up a Tuesday night win. Shadron Turner just killing it this year. And Doug Keller takes the USRA stock car win. Now, <clears throat> got so excited there, my uh, about stripped a gear in my throat. Lakeside is going to be back in action. Today's the third. So uh, Friday night, back-to-back -back nights of racing for the Midwest Wingless Racing Association. USAC, non-wing sprints, $2,000 to win. Just 25 bucks to get in. Hot lap start at 7, racing at 7.30. If you're up near Kansas City, Kansas, or can get there, you don't want to miss this. This is some hellaciously good racing. My sweetheart, Peggy Moon, it's so good to see you. I love you and miss you, Miss Peggy Moon. Lakeside Speedway, and again, that's going to be on Friday night. Saturday night, if you're a little closer to the Ozarks here, Nevada. This is going to be Saturday night racing. Also, hot laps at 7, racing at 7.30. Uh, don't have the payout here on this, but $200 to start. I would imagine it's somewhere probably pretty close to that. Look at this at Nevada. $15 for adults, kids 6 to 12, 5, and kids under 5 get in free. Are you kidding me? 
Great racing up there at Nevada Speedway. This is going to be back-to-back -back nights, Friday night, Saturday night of great racing. If you like sprint car racing and the wingless, those things are out of this world crazy. Going to be back-to-back -back nights of that. Make sure if you're up there at Lakeside or at Nevada, tell them. Say, uh, hey man, I heard about the racing here. I was watching ORP TV and old stag and... Ian Wiedenhauser was our Wiedenbaker. I'm sorry, Ian Wiedenbaker was on here. And uh, he was talking about this, so we came up to see you. That'd mean the world to us, so make sure you let him know. Dallas County Speedway has a big event coming up this weekend. So let's talk about that. Uh, and we don't have that on here. We have, because <laughs> they didn't have an event poster made for it. This is the, I believe it's the B-Mod spectacular some sort of big shootout with the b mod and i didn't get it written down because i mean in all honesty i got off work 45 minutes ago and ran home and showered and got down here so um dallas county speedway with a big event friday night this is i believe the b mod uh like a showdown big event but dallas county always has great racing trust me if you're near urbana go to dallas county speedway scotty allen Beautiful track up there. Twister Alley Raceway. How about this? This is a, a special event Saturday night. The Mini Hot Rod Tractor Pull. This is going to be sponsoring the Firefighters Auxiliary down there. Great cause. Butterfield Firefighter Auxiliary and Midwest Pullers bringing the Mini Hot Rod Pullers to Butterfield. Action will start at 6 p.m., on Saturday night at the Twister Alley Raceway. Bring your lawn chairs. So they've got all these classes. They got what? Two, four, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, forty, fifteen different classes there. All different kinds of classes. It's gonna be from the little kids up to the mini rods. This is gonna be super exciting. Just ten dollars to get in. If you like tractor pools, this is the kind of thing my buddy John Barry gets into. Uh, tractor pulls, a lot of fun. Look at that little girl down there. Let me just pull this up here. Look at that. We got the little kids on the tractors. How about that? How cute is that? Little girl there on her mini tractor. So great fun and a great cause helping support the Butterfield Firefighter Auxiliary. You get into those small towns and they don't have a big fire department with big taxes going to it. You think, Man, I don't want to support that little thing. Then you hit, then your house catches on fire down there, and you're thinking, "Boy, I sure wish there was a auxiliary fire department to come put this fire out right about now, or to get me out of this trapped car." One of them things you don't think about till you need it, and our friends down there need your help. And uh, so go down, check out Mini Hot Rod Pool, and I'd be willing to bet you. I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna speak on behalf of Heather and Chip. I'm gonna make this statement. $10 for adults, kids 6 to 12, 5, under 6 are free. I bet they'd let you throw an extra 10 bucks in there. I bet you Heather would not be furious if you threw an extra 10 or $20 bill in there to help out these firemen. I, I would almost guarantee you she would not be mad at you. So going for a great cause. Butterfield Firefighter Auxiliary this Saturday night, Twister Alley Raceway. Mocan, if drag racing's your thing, check it out. It's the Substitute, the Maverick. That's a Springfield car. That is the uh, sibling car to the Bad Grandpa. The That right there, the Hot Summer Nights 13, HSN, Hot Summer Nights 13, Friday and Saturday nights, August 5th and 6th at Mocan, their 60th anniversary. Gates open up at 6 o'clock on Friday night. Uh, looks like uh, two rounds of small tire going to go testing to It's going to be racing all evening. And then Saturday night is going to be the eliminations. $20 to get in. That is going to be some wild fun racing. And Mocan is a legendary track. If you've never been there, you need to go there just so you can say that, I've, that you've been to Mocan. Say, I've been to Mocan. Get you a t-shirt. Uh, that's like having a hard rock cafe shirt or something you gotta have a smoking at mocan t-shirt go down there support the racing support some of the local racers like uh like the substitute there hooter holler 
more pulling. So this is a tractor pull weekend. Uh, this is going to be also on Saturday night. If you're over more towards Mount Vernon, I'm sorry, Mountain Grove, quite a ways from Butterfield. So there's plenty to go around. Mountain Grove, uh, mini pools, August 6th, 5 p.m. is going to start. $20 per hook. I don't know what that means, but if you're a tractor puller, I bet you do. Multiple classes, the garden tractor, side-by-sides, and ATV. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hooter Holler is a great place to go. How cool is that logo? You know, you know why I like that logo so much? I did it. That's probably why I like it so much. So so much so, let me just zoom in there and I'll let you see that. That's that's just pretty cool. I'm gonna zoom back out of there. But Hooter Holler, great place. They're open 365 days a year, whether you've got a side-by-side, -side, an ATV, a three-wheeler, a four-wheeler, a dune buggy, a motorcycle, whatever it is, Hooter Holler, that is one cool place. Tell them you heard about them here. They'll be glad to know that, uh, that you did. NASCAR, got a little NASCAR news for you. Kyle Larson. Well, I tell you what, the uh, rumor mill is gone wild for NASCAR right now. Let me make sure, I think this, the volume's off on this. You'll remember last week, this hard hit from Kyle Larson where he just absolutely blasted Ty Dillon. Almost no tire smoke there. What's that tell you? That tells you that the tires didn't lock up because you can see just barely spinning we're getting tire smoke. So the fact that there is no tire smoke right here tells you there's a problem. Now here's what's confusing about this, and this is where all the rumors are starting. Kyle Larson jumps out of his car, runs over to Ty Dillon. Super cool move. Very, very cool of Kyle Larson to go over and make sure that Ty was okay. I'd expect nothing less. Kyle Larson seems like a heck of a young man. So totally understandable. Here's the problem. He comes out of the uh, infield care center, gets checked out, he's okay, declines comment. Gonna go talk to his guys. He was saying on the radio something about an issue. Well, after the fact, Richard Childress Racing said, there was no problem with the car. So that has the NASCAR fans going, well, what then is the problem? Now, this isn't me saying this, because, you know, I barely know the front end of the car from the back, but Larry McReynolds is about as sharp a, a crew chief as there's ever been. He was Dale Earnhardt's crew chief, and that alone is worth its weight in gold. In an episode of Fox Sports NASCAR Race Hub, analyst Larry McReynolds, the Larry Mack, described that from all his time in the sport, and that is a lot of time, all of his time in the sport, from what he's seen, there are only two reasons that could, what could have happened between Kyle Larson and Ty Dillon. Quote, when I saw this, I went, what in the world just happened? Because in my experience, there's only two things that can actually cause that, McReynolds said, and that's losing the brakes or a stuck throttle. Larry Mack knows more about this than anybody. And if Larry Mack says either the brakes stuck or didn't work, or the throttle stuck, struck, I'm going to put my money on that it's one of those two things. Richard Childress Racing said, not a problem with the car. So what was it? Are we to believe that Kyle Larson forgot, just was adjusting the car radio, or sending a text, or was looking at somebody in the stands and just forgot to hit the brakes somebody has lucy somebody's got some explaining to do here what happened i don't believe that kyle larson forgot to have drive how to drive a race car and forgot to hit the brakes and hit ty dillon at 120 miles per hour causing that wreck now austin aziz talked about this this was also mentioned online did the uh did the brake fluid boil? Well, they asked him during the race, are your brake fans on? He said, yes. Now, my, my assumption, my understanding of that is that would be to prevent 
this kind of thing. Bubbling, of course, is, is when there's air in it. When you have bub air bubbles, when it's boiling, you have bubbles. The bubbles are air, so if you have an air pocket, but in which case they could have cooled down. However, that would mean there was faulty brakes. Something was wrong with the car. I don't believe Kyle Larson forgot to hit the brakes. Um, Richard Childress Racing, he had quite a weekend. Let me tell you, he had his number one driver have this issue. We don't know if it's a car-related issue. He, they, his team said, wasn't mechanical, wasn't us. So are you saying it's Kyle? And then the one driver he is not happy with, Tyler Reddick, he's like, he can kiss my ass. He may not even have a ride next year. He wins. So you got, you got to be excited that your team wins, but it's the one guy you don't want to win. What a, what a confusing, mixed up, crazy, mixed up world that Richard Childress Racing has this week. He could put a lot of this to rest if he would just say, guys, just say there was something wrong with the car. I don't care. Just say we found something. We're not going to blame. Don't say that there was something. Why? I don't know. I'm interested to know what you think. Let me know. I know my mom has an opinion about it. I know her opinion is, I don't care. Kyle's cute. Him and Chris. Who's that one guy I like? Christopher Bell. Oh, that's him. He's so cute. And Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. They're all cute. <laughs> so, curious to see how this all shakes out. Yeah, it probably won't shake at all. I know who we could ask. I tell you what, if you check out this week's Austin Aziz AAA race show, the incomparable Austin Aziz. <laughs> I have no idea what the heck he put on his head. Uh, his show is sponsored by Whatever Mom's Cooking for Dinner, and I'm going to guess that's the uh, some sort of microwave foil that, uh, that Summer cooked the dinner in there, but uh, that was just too funny not to share. NASCAR, regular season. We're down to the last four races of the year. Michigan coming up this week. Richmond, Watkins Glen, and a Saturday night at Daytona. I, uh, I tell you what, I've really gotten where I enjoy the Watkins Glen and the uh, road courses. I don't know why. Just they're a lot of fun. Uh, they're fun to watch. Uh, <laughs> my mom. Uh, so, enjoyable. Four races left until the uh, postseason. So where are we at on the postseason? Oh, he's so cute. Little Ross, Chase Elliott's first place. Ross Chastain in second. Everybody hates him. I'll tell you what, I'd like to see Ross Chastain and Kyle. I'd like to see Ross Chastain, Kyle Busch, and Ty Gibbs just form a trio and just be the everybody hates us too bad team. Because they are all three good and they just they can just say, you all can just deal with it. I would love to see all three of them on one team. But look at all this youth up here at the top. Chase Elliott, Ross Chastain, Joey Logano, William Byron, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, this old guy, Martin Truex is down here seventh, Tyler Reddick, Denny Hamlin. Looks like another year of no championship there, huh, Denny? You turd. Christopher Bell, oh, cutie Christopher Bell in top ten. Then my boy, KFB, Kyle Busch, Chase Briscoe, Kurt Busch. I don't know how he's still there. He's not racing. I guess his team's getting points. Daniel Suarez, Austin Sendrick, and the showman, Alex Bowman. Your top 16 right now in the chase. On the outside looking in, Kevin Harvick, Eric Almarola, Eric Jones, and Bubba Wallace. That rounds out your top 24 races left. Chase Elliott is now your third winningest road course driver of all time holy that's unbelievable so you had uh jeff gordon i believe with the most then tony stewart it was like nine eight seven next one that uh chase elliott wins he'll be tied with tony stewart you remember what happened the last time somebody tied tony stewart they got disqualified uh denny hamlin i hope that doesn't happen to chase elliott Hodges Tree Trimming, who brings us your birthdays. Hodges Tree Trimming, pruning, trimming, removal, planting, stump grinding, brush removal, consultation of free estimates. We guarantee the best work, the best price. Hodges Tree Trimming, birthdays today. Missy Alexander, Joe Goad, Melissa Morrow, the incredible track photographer at Tulsa Raceway, Patrick Red Williams. Tomorrow, Casey Beeson, 
No related to Tony. Only like six of you people know Tony Beeson, but no relation. This kid is so flipping cool. He is so handsome and so talented. Just makes me see. I mean, then he's as nice as can be on top of it. Brock Maverick. Carl, that should be Carl Sifferman. I'm going to have to fix that. Lance Teague, all with birthdays tomorrow. Uh, we have it in there twice. Friday, Bill Brewer. I used to race him. Man, we spent a whole lot of time racing against each other BMX back in the old days, but he's still racing. He is 52 or 3 and still racing. And Grayson McKinney, happy birthday to him on Friday. Saturday, Mark Austin and my buddy. There ain't no party like an Artie Dow party. Birthday party at Artie's house, Saturday. Cheryl Fuqua and Tanya Welcome, all with weekend birthdays. Sunday, Gage Guru, Andrew Harris, Mr. Miranda Maverick, that's Pete Hobold, and Mike Kilkenny. Monday, Derek Brown, Lisa Eves, Candy Sadler, and Dan Saylor. And on Tuesday, Mariah Inman, Jack Jones, Dayton Newell, and Josh Terman. Happy birthday to all of you from Hodges Tree Trimming and ORP TV. Now, here's a look at your weekend race weather brought to you by Down to Earth Lawn and Landscaping. We're going to see some maybe. You may have to get out and mow this weekend. I'm glad I don't have to. I'm just going to let the whole thing die. I couldn't care less. Just turn brown. But if it does mow, I guess I'll have to mow. So down to earth lawn and landscaping, they can build you a deck, a retaining wall, privacy fence, do your mowing, whatever it is, concrete. These folks are just absolutely outstanding. Luke and Jake, uh, my son-in-laws, love them to death and they do fantastic worth work. Here we go. 417-893-9343. Give them a call. Tell them you heard about them here. Tomorrow, some thunderstorms, maybe overnight. So make sure you roll your windows up tonight. Uh, then it's going to get warm. Going to be 91. But this weekend, mostly sunny. 93 Friday. Same thing on Saturday. Same thing on Sunday. Just going to be on repeat. Going to be hot. Some sun. Good weather. For all that racing going on, get out to the local racetracks and support them and support some of the great causes that they represent this weekend. Tomorrow night, dirt track racing, circle track racing brought to you by All Parts Auto Salvage and Jesse James Junction. 81 Speedway racing tomorrow night on Friday night. Here we go. Full rundown. Batesville Motor Speedway, Callaway, Dallas County, Electric City Speedway, I-55. That's a new track we're covering. And that's the uh, Ken Schrader track. Uh, it's like Federated Auto Parts or something, but it's I-55. Hum, uh, Humboldt, Lakeside, Lebanon Midway, Monette, North Central Arkansas Speedway, Poplar Bluff Motorsports Park, Salina in Salina, Kansas, and Tulsa Speedway. Saturday night, Bolivar, Central Missouri Speedway, I-35, I-55, Lake Ozark in Eldon, Missouri, Lucas over at Wheatland, Nevada, Salina High Banks, Springfield, and Valley. And then on Sunday night, Bolivar Speedway. Over on the Extreme Dirt tomorrow night, Spokes BMX. Uh, just absolutely love Spokes BMX. I love BMX. I love the sport of BMX racing. Uh, racing tomorrow night in Springfield at Ewing Softball Complex is where that's at. Uh, over off of uh, Grand in Kansas, just west of there. Hillbilly Speedway in Fairgrove Saturday night. I believe they have racing. Uh, my buddy Franklin Hodges is still looking for somebody to take over the day-to-day -day on that, and I believe they are racing. He's not been keeping up on the Facebook a lot. He's been awfully busy. But Hooter Holler with their pulling and Twister Alley Raceway with the mini hot rod pull on Saturday. So whether you're towards Mountain Grove or Twister Alley Raceway down towards the Aurora, Monette, Cassville, Butterfield area, Got all kinds of tractor pulls going on this weekend. And again, the Twister Alley one is going to support the Butterfield Auxiliary Fire Department. Drag Strip, Bon Terre, Missouri, Saturday. Mocam with that Friday, Saturday, the hot summer nights. Ozark Raceway Park, Friday, Saturday, as well as Tulsa Raceway Park, also Friday, Saturday night, drag racing. NASCAR, this weekend, no Camping World Truck Series this weekend. It's Xfinity, and then on Saturday, 2.30 USA Network, the NASCAR Cup Series on Sunday, 2 o'clock on NBC. 
The NTT Indy Racing League is over at Nashville, Sunday, 2 o'clock on NBC. Uh, that can't be right. That don't make any sense. That can't be right. They're not both on Sunday. That's got to be Saturday. Saturday, 2 o'clock NBC for Indy Racing League. What's really cool is they have that bridge that goes over the river there, and they actually race across the bridge. Uh, we've walked that, as has everybody, but it's really cool. That's a really cool track. So uh, Nashville, pay no attention to that. That should be Saturday, 2 o'clock on NBC. What a mess. It started with me spilling my drink everywhere and then this. Um, hey, I do want to tell you, my daughter's at home doing very well. She's uh, healthy, happy. Everybody's great. And I can't thank you all enough for the uh, well wishes. It's been a rough few weeks here. And uh, look at that. The old scar healed up pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I know it looked pretty rough, but at least I don't have that scar there anymore. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining us uh, next week. Now get this. Sunday will be live at 6 o'clock. Wednesday, I don't know yet what our Wednesday schedule is going to look like. If, I'm, if I take off on Wednesday, then we'll probably do the show at like 4 o'clock or something, which is way early. None of you will be available to watch it hardly, but it'll be there to watch later on. If I don't get to take it off, then I'm going to pre-record the show and it'll be here and it'll be posted Wednesday late afternoon, close to this normal time, but it will not be a live show, but it will be a new show because I'll be at the Prime uh, Trucking uh, Shareholders Banquet, and uh, believe me, I got a real good reason to be there for that one. I can't miss that. So uh, next week, Wednesday won't be live, but it will be new. So don't uh, count on, set your alarm. I know you've already got your alarm set on your phone as a reminder that six o'clock, I got to get over and watch ORP TV. So uh, don't be thrown. It'll be a new show. It just won't be live. If you got anything on your mind, you want to tell me what you think happened with Kyle Larson. You want to tell me, uh, Hey, that uh, looked better with the scar or whatever you got to tell me that you dig what we're doing. ORPTVmedia at gmail.com. And again, ain't nobody doing this. Here's my phone number. Send me a text. 417-872-9854. You will get a response. I will reply to you. And uh, I get messages once in a while through Facebook Messenger and text message and stuff. So uh, let's do it, man. Let's talk about it. Don't forget, we'll be back here Sunday night. Let's see here. Great show, buddy. Oh, man. I love Heather and Chip and the whole crew down there at Twister Out of the Raceway and all of our tracks. And I love all you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You have no idea how much it means to me to, to see you all here all the time. Uh, save, me, save me a therapy bill. I get to come here and talk to you all. You all are my therapists. So thank you so much. Love you guys. Be safe. Tell each other you love each other because you don't know how long we're going to be around and you don't want to say, man, I wish I'd have told that person I loved him. For ORP TV, I'm Stang. Here's Danny. Goodbye. See you next time.